let's talk about the importance of missionary and temple and family history work. Elder Brent Nielsen has said, A recent multi-year study showed that when recent converts perform baptisms and confirmations in the temple with family names, within the first two months of their baptism, convert retention improves significantly. He added that this finding is one of the most significant breakthroughs in improving convert retention that we have seen in many years. Some days, there were over 70 converts in the temple, President Sean Douglas said. Within a year, more than 500 converts and more than 300 reactivated members went to the temple through the instrumentality of this missionary force and the ward councils, he said. We saw retention go from 20% to over 80% for those that participated, he added. Talk about hastening the work on both sides of the veil. This encouragement, Elder Renlund emphasized, is because the data are incontrovertible that young men who participate in temple and family history work have a higher rate of being ordained elders and going on missions. New converts who participate in temple and family history work are retained at a higher rate, he noted. Those who are new and tender in the gospel, he said, include 12-year-old youth and new converts. As they are focused on temple and family history work, more will remain active, more will be protected when the storms and fierce winds strike. As leaders we cannot overemphasize the importance of everyone, including the rising generation and new converts working diligently on behalf of their deceased ancestors, said Elder Cook. We are the Lord's agents in this work of salvation. The combination of greatly increased numbers of temples and advanced technology for family history work make this the most blessed time in all history. Citing the words from President Russell M. Nelson when he addressed the membership of the church from the Salt Lake Temple on January 16, Elder Renlund said, We encourage everyone to get on the covenant path as soon as possible, even, especially, when they are new and tender in the gospel and then stay focused on the blessings of the temple. He said, We invite all new converts and new 12-year-olds to discover and gather their families and become active participants in the plan of salvation. We desire to involve 11-year-old children and even younger children in family history work and encourage them to qualify for a limited-use temple recommend when they turn 12 years old. Thus, they can and are encouraged to perform proxy baptisms in temples whenever and wherever possible, Elder Renlund said. Involvement of 12-year-olds and new converts will have a halo effect on all who help, he said. Faith in the Savior of family and friends who help will increase. Elder Renlund added, If I were a bishop, primary leader, youth leader, parent, or anyone else who loves a child and wants to see him or her stay on the covenant path with the end in mind, one of my best friends would be the Ward Temple and Family History Consultant.